You were looking at cell phone video shot by a woman who says she was targeted by this guy. April 26th, 2016, Yulee, Florida, 12.30 p.m. A man enters a large department store. He walks over to the personal care section and places several razors into his handheld cart. But then, just 90 seconds after entering, he approaches a young woman shopping for bathing suits. He comes up to her and he's asking her questions. Initially, it sounds pretty innocent. He's asking for some help by shopping for his wife. We make sure it's not too like sheer or clear. So, you know, she's trying to help him out. But the man's questions quickly take a creepy turn. He starts asking very odd things like, do you think that this will be see-through? Um, do you think that my wife's underwear will show? Who is this guy? Has he been following her? What is he up to? What does he want? And there's something even more chilling. The woman realizes that she's seen this man before. And that's when she flips on her camera phone and begins to secretly record this deeply troubling encounter. I was gonna need to get like a backup here, but she wanted to make sure it's not too like sheer or clear. Right. How Do you that? remember running into me in the grocery store? When the man realizes the woman knows who he is, he turns and races out. No, hey, where are you going? Come back. Hey, get this guy. Stop him. Stop this guy. Stop him. Stop that guy. Who is this guy? Why is this woman so angry at him? And what has he done to her before? Call the cops on him! Call the cops! 35-year-old Candace Spivey is the woman who chases after the man. Two years earlier, he had approached her exactly the same way. So the first time that I encountered him, I was in the grocery store. He came up to me very casually, and he started talking about how it was his wife's and his anniversary. And he just bought this maxi dress. He goes, so I was kind of, you know, wondering, should she wear like a jacket with this? You know, he starts out very casual. And then it's the same story. The man's questions grow increasingly personal and soon uncomfortably sexual. He goes, well, what about her, like her underwear? You know, should she wear like like full underwear? And when he mentions, you know, should she shave? My eyes started wondering, and I looked into his shopping cart, and I noticed that he had different types of razors for both men and women. So while he's talking to you and asking you these questions, he's holding his phone like this. What is he doing? Creeped out, Candace walks away from the strange man in disgust. But then she sees him approach another woman. I followed him to the next aisle, and I saw him from behind. And as he's holding his phone, you could see him recording her through his phone on the other side. Why is this guy secretly videotaping women in the store while asking them inappropriate questions? Whatever he wants, Candace knows it's wrong. I did call the police. They kicked him out of the grocery store, reported him. Of course, he wasn't doing anything illegal. So they didn't feel there was any reason to run his information or anything. For Candace, it's an incredibly frustrating situation. She feels violated, but it's not illegal to videotape people in public places like a grocery store with or without their consent. When I got in my car, I actually sat there and I cried like a baby. So when Candace finds herself face to face with the same man two years later, she's absolutely stunned. And I'm standing there looking at bathing suits and he's up, you know, on my side. And I'm like, is this really happening right now? Do you remember running into me in the grocery store? In my mind, not this time. Call the cops! Call the cops on him! Call the cops! My adrenaline was going, my nerves were going. I was not thinking, but I chased him out, not really knowing what to expect. Something about the video that nobody knows, there are about 12 Target employees behind me, running with me after him. Get your going, no, you! 
All I remember is how hot it was outside, how anxious I was to get an identity on him. Follow this, uh, no, you, I caught you, you mother This was incredibly brave. You know, most people would say do not pursue someone who is a sexual predator uh, because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what this guy's done in the past. To Candace's frustration, the man gets away again. But store employees have already called 911. Police arrive a few minutes later and question him in a nearby parking lot. His name is Jeffrey Polizzi, a married man with, it turns out, a criminal record. He was convicted seven years earlier in 2009 for an even more upsetting crime. He was caught sliding his foot under changing rooms while girls were changing into bikinis. He had a camera inside of his shoe. Back then, he was charged with video voyeurism, a criminal misdemeanor, and sentenced to 120 days in jail. He is a video voyeur. He's not just filming you, he's streaming you. He's streaming you to a platform where multiple other people are paying to watch you unknowingly. Candace is so furious and disgusted, she decides to take her story public and post the video she took on social media. And the response is overwhelming. New details after this shocking video surfaced. A total of 74 women have come forward saying that Jeffrey Polizzi took photos and videos of them in dressing rooms. The stunning number of victims underscores just how prolific this predator has been and how long he's been at it. The video gets over 2 million views and Candace is hailed as a hero. A lot of victims feel that they don't have justice and they're not safe until the person that violated them is caught. She was determined to not let him get away, and she wanted to take her power back, and she did. But when she thinks back to that day, Candace has mixed feelings about her actions. As courageous as it was, and as good as it felt, you know, inside at that moment, it was really dumb. I could have ran out into a situation that would have ended my life. I definitely don't encourage anyone to do that because you don't know what the consequences could be. But chasing them like I did, it was one of those heat of the moment things. Call the cops! Call the cops on him! Call the cops! 